Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Reaper Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom division profile for use in a Revit project. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017 under the Recent Files window. I'll click New under Families and scroll down to Division Profile. Click Open, and you'll notice you have the reference planes that are aligned and locked and pinned down that define origins. You also have an equality condition and an initial width of 8 inches. What is a division profile, by the way? A division profile family is a profile that you create that you can load into a project and use to divide, into, uh, divide a part into other subsequent parts. So let's zoom in here <clears throat> and create our line work that defines the profile sketch. So for example, uh, we're going to do something like this. And again, I'm not being super exact, but you can be exact with your sketch. We're going to leave it like this. We're going to save this as a family. We're going to call it. Uh, custom division profile one and then we can use it in a project so we'll start a new project architectural template is fine we'll create a system family like a wall or a floor in this case I do a floor and finish it this floor system family can be turned into its respective parts so if I click this command it turns it into its parts you don't initially see it because the parts visibility is showing and it's a little off. So the easiest to do is just look at it in 3D. And here under parts of visibility, say show parts only, and it shows that one part. If you select a part, you can divide it. When you divide it, you can edit the sketch and draw whatever sketch lines that you want to define how it's going to get divided. This sketch line here that you're drawing has a division profile that's capable. And if you click here, you're going to see three that are given to you as a default. So let's say I use the angle step and hit the green check mark. You'll notice that it has um, a situation here when you're sketching, you can't use multiples. So you're going to have to go back and edit that sketch. And we're going to delete some lines and just pull this across like that. Again, we're going to use the division angled step for the purposes of just understanding what that is and what it's doing. And you'll see that that is using this particular profile sketch. Finish it and you're done. How do we use the one that we created? We'll just toggle back using control tab to this particular one that we made and load it into the project. Now that we've loaded it into the project, let's go ahead and look at this sketch again. We can select that part and edit the division, <clears throat> edit the sketch, and draw another, if you will, division line. In this case, we can switch to the division custom profile that we made earlier. Hit the green check mark, and you can see right off the bat, it's going to look like this as it's being divided. Hit the green check mark, and you're finished. So now you've created a part that has um, three different portions, if you will, of the design, and it's being intersected and cut by a custom division profile. So that's how you create a division profile, custom one in Revit 2017. Thank you very much for watching. 